Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. We've begun to work through well. We spent quite a long time now working our way through the observatory, trying to track down Dagon Gera for our third and assumedly final confrontation with him. I don't think we're actually as close to the uh, end of the game as I once believed, but um, either way, Dagon Gera for the third time. You can't fight someone four times. That's silly. So here we go. We're nearly at the top. We're nearly at the no top. Boop boop. Now, I haven't played the game in quite a while, so I'm a little apprehensive how things are going to go for me, but uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Did I come in that way? I think I probably came around here, didn't I? Yeah, I imagine so. Because I don't recognize sure this. You push that button? Do we have a choice? All right, let's do this. Going to press the button. Press the button. Nothing to. Oh, 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 it's Magna Guards. Okay. All right, but you better kill one boat then if you're gonna do that. If you're gonna say that you're gonna do that, you better do it. You know what I mean? Right, he's on it. He's on it. He's a good lad. Okay, I forgot that. I forgot the one to dodge. Oh come on! <laughs> I'm so popular. Yeah. Drop kick. Oh, come on, it's so annoying when there's two of them. I have not done any damage. I don't think I've done right. That one's that one's nearly dead. <laughs> Let's focus on that one. Oh my god. There we go, right. Let's hack that one. Give us a bit of a hand on this because I need help. <laughs> this is not a good fight to like start like your first fight, you know what I mean? When you've not been playing the game. Boat. That really didn't help. There we go. There we go. Where's my friend at? Help me out, buddy. <laughs> Come on. I didn't put you in here for nothing. There you go. Get in there. Lovely stuff. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's just, it's just give me a minute to, <laughs> you know, get my way back into it. I need to feel my way. It's been about a week since I last played the game. Thankfully, I'm quite far ahead on this series. I'm not. I'm like two days ahead now. Ah, oh, minor Oculus. This rotating, rotating Oculus is powered by the same Kobo matter as the Forest Array. This larger model indicates that Republic scientists created the prototype for later designs, focusing on compactness and efficiency, much like myself. I really like this, uh... Oh, okay. Oh, well, you got a freaking jetpack. <laughs> it's all right for you. I know this. I, I, I'm sure there's something here I can. Ah. So do I need to wait for the? There's a there's a there's, a, there's like a zippy 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 thing. You know. You know what I mean. I think it's on here. I'm just gonna wait. Where's the zippy zippy thing? No, I'm confused. <laughs> um, oh, of course, I forgot that there's a there's a thing over here. There's a electro thing, Jiggy. Thing, BD. I'm with you, Cal. Remember how to block. Oh, <laughs> you're right, love. <laughs> right. There's a lot of enemies. Did you just say initiating belligerence? <laughs> I like that. Oh, that was so nearly perfect. I need something, buddy. You need all the help you can get. I'm a little concerned. I'm going to end up fighting Dangara, and I'm just going to be utterly, utterly terrible. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll get better with a bit more practice. It's fine. I guess we're going there now, right? A little door they just popped open over here. I guess we're not. Okay. Do I do I zip up soup again? I think I zip up soup again. Let's change the angle. I do zip. Oh my god, they're everywhere. 
I'm just opening doors to enemies. That's it. Guess we found the party. Is that a hammer guy? Is a hammer guy. Get you. God, that was so annoying when people try to shoot you. <laughs> All right, I need to get away from the hammer guy and get these guys killed first. I think. I don't think he can climb things. He doesn't seem like the kind of dude to climb things, you know? Some people are climbers, some people aren't. You cannot block forever. Yeah, but both you do your thing. <laughs> I'll just stay up here with this little dude. Well, that was fancy. I don't even know what I did there. You're not kidding me. Bloody hell. Oh boy, I'm playing awfully. Uh, you right, Boat? I guess I'll help. I don't feel good about it. Nope. Oh my god. Hit me. Yeah. How do you like me now, son? Just so you know, Boat, you completely screwed that up for me. <laughs> Just so you're aware, that was completely your fault. Drop kick. God. Round three. Round three already? I've lost count. I will get better. I will get better. Get nice stuff. Don't worry about it. It's just, you know, you come back, you haven't played in a while, and then you've got freaking. What am I doing with that thing? And then I'm on hard difficulty, and it just compounds and becomes a disaster. Oh yeah, I've got I've got I've got actually throw it, you know. Well I don't Opens from the other side. I'm guessing it's so I can get over there. So let's go grab another one. Doesn't help that the FPS still isn't great. I really can't believe they haven't fixed this yet. And I also do not remember. <laughs> right, LT, I remember, I remember. Uh over the, over yep, yeah, okay, cool. And in that, lovely. I see you up there. Don't think I don't see you, you cheeky little blighter. How I get you is another kettle of. Ooh, hello. I bet Z can get the data off this disc. I feel like I maybe have to get in through the green, you know? <clears throat> Thankfully, this is the other side, so. Okay. <laughs> Not totally sure what the point of that is, but it means I can try this again. I think I need to. Pop in at the top of the green and then and then do the whole dash jump thing again. I think that's how we do it. Let's give it a go. I want to make sure I get lots of height here. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Yum. What have you got for me, you glowy little sun gun? Ooh, it's an XP bar level thing. Sweet. All right, why am I here? Honestly, couldn't tell you. <laughs> I'm sure there's a reason. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm not meant to. Maybe I'm meant to take that back over here somewhere and use that to get up somewhere else. That's probably the case, actually. Do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Can we go outside again? I don't think so. We could maybe get through. I'm a little scared to try. Um, I'm wondering if I could get through to the other side. I don't think so. I actually don't know where to go right now. But I've unlocked jet. Oh, oh, oh. We've unlocked Jedi stuff. All right, so I need to. Okay. Isn't that going to take me away from here? It's a problem. How far do you move? Okay, is that open that? There we go. Thank you very much, my friend. Okay, so now let's hop over there. 
then onto there. And then this is fine. Although, where am I going from here is the, the follow-up question. Unsure. I suspect we're running along these... Yeah, not a problem. Easy peasy. Look at that. Beautiful. Sweet. It's all coming together. Huh. Don't mind if I do. Or is this the right way? I wanted to go the wrong way. <laughs> uh, hmm. Mm. Mm. Which way is the wrong way? I can't tell at this point in time. I think that's just a shortcut, isn't it? Looks like it. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna I've used up a lot of my um a lot of my charges, so let's go ahead and heal up. Get back to fighting fit. I feel bad, this is a really, really good game. I just I haven't been playing it. I'm just so so hopelessly addicted to Tears of the Kingdom. I think I'm on episode 40 of Tears of the Kingdom, something like that that I've recorded. It's hopelessly addicted. It's a very easy game to just pick up and play and just do some nonsense, you know, whereas this one I have to think a little bit. There's, there's more thought in this game than there is in Tears of the Kingdom, for sure. Uh, hold LT and press RB while holding a pulled enemy to force them to fire their weapon. I've kind of got everything that I really wanted. Press RT right before an enemy attacks to send them flying. Let's get my slam. But yeah, I've, I've definitely got the major stuff I was looking for. There's there's no other skills. I'm like, mm, that's a sexy sounding little, little, little scrumpet over there. A little crumpet. Who is it that calls people sexy crumpets? I don't know, but it's terrible. I just saw a name. Mads Gresh. And Mads Gresh sounds pretty mad. Talking about ascension. Nobody who ascends is cool, right? I know I'm ascending here, but I'm not talking about ascending. People who talk about ascending are... Universally, a little bit odd. You know what I mean? Like, why your son? Just chill. You know, Earth's cool. It's a lot of droids. <laughs> it's quite a lot of droids. Go on, Bode. All on you, buddy. I mean, yeah. ah! Oops. Almost there, Cal. This is it. Man, I was so excited to do that. Not taking. Oh my god. You're all right. I can't pause to <laughs> to do that because. Shoot me, shoot me. Thank you. Shoot me, shoot me. <laughs> one by one they die. Drop kick. God damn it, Bode. <laughs> you saved some for I'm ready. As long as I get. Oh, I've got a lovely little heal. So is it Dagon time? I'm sticking with Crossguard. We got a fight ahead, Cal. I'm game if you are. God knows I never. <laughs> I never sway from the Crossguard. It stood me in good stead and it will continue to do so. Oh, there he is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Dagon Gera, round three. Ding, ding, ding. I will not return. Seek me out or go to Tananor. That is yours to decide. I guess he got the message a few years too late. If Santari had only stood with me, we could have convinced the Council that Tanelor was worth the sacrifice. Now she's gone. Ravis is gone. The Order is gone, and I am free! You're not free, Dagon. You're alone. Why are you here when your true enemy is out there? 
How could you let the galaxy fall to this unworthy machine of an empire? You think yourself a survivor, but you are a failure! They haven't beaten us. Not yet. Now who is blinded by the past? Within the Abyss, the Empire cannot reach us. I will forge these raiders into an elite army led by disciples trained in the Force at my temple. Then, when the time is right, I will strike out and cleanse this galaxy with fire. <laughs> We've already got an Emperor. Give us the compass. And why would I do that? Because I'm a father who's running out of options. And you're standing in the way of a better life for my little girl. You hand it over, or I will put you down. What small dreams you cling to. Enough! Tanlor beckons. Okay, Bo's actually... Help. Is he helping me? Oh, he's trying to help anyway. <laughs> he's doing his best. Now, if I remember... Just die. Blocking... That blade... You're terrified. You're an is really good. Oh, that was very unlucky, it felt. That was incredibly unlucky. It's got absolutely... I nearly got him, and instead I took a bajillion damage. Is that it? Die! Your demise is inevitable. God. Right, okay, I'm, I'm not... I'm not... Bold! Do something, man! You okay? No. so badly. <laughs> oh my yes. god. Right, okay, focus, come on, focus, focus. Get, get him, Bode. You miserable fool. God, oh my god. Bode, don't you bloody dare. <laughs> You're still chained by the past. It will be your grave. Okay, he's got a force arm. Consider this mercy. Fight me. You know how much I hate red attacks. Okay, that's good to know what that does. Ah. Oh, oh, all right. Okay, it's got lots of fancy force attacks. Face me. I'm just superior. Yeah, you probably are, buddy. <laughs> I'm very pretty. The galaxy loves me. Oh, I really thought. I... Jesus Christ! Fight me! I really thought I blocked that in time. No pain. Kneel before me. Oh. What? I'm not gonna do it, but I just want to see as much of the fire as I can, you know. Will not stop me. How pathetic! Help me, BD. Help me. Zap him. Oh, 
right? God damn, Dragon Garo's got some skills. Anyone else getting a Saruman versus Gandalf vibe? You are but a novice of force. I'm sorry, what? Face me. Is that it? Which one's real? <laughs> I think it's. I need help. You cannot escape this. It's not this one. Get away, man! <laughs> right, there we go. You no, really no, no! I'm dead. I'm dead. This is a rough fight. We're gonna do it, obviously. And you know, it's not the not the best timing. <laughs> Hop, get into, into a boss so quickly. Right, come on. Focus up. Focus up. I can do so much better in these first few phases. I just... I just got hit by everything. Oh, my... Right, come on, Dagon. Come on. Bucko. Get him, Bode. You won't stop. I could stop. <laughs> Face me. About as terrible a start as you can get. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, come on, I blocked that. Okay, there we go. I had to use a thing already. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, this lightsaber. Face me. You're fading. No, I'm not okay. I'm clicking all the wrong buttons. I'm being an idiot. Oh, no, I'm trying to heal the wrong. Oh, my God. Oh no! <laughs> You're still chained by the. Past. It was better than last time. It wasn't great, but it was an improvement. Oh, look how much damage he does! He gets one little combo on me at the very start, and I've got no health. Oh, for God's sake! No, again, not what I wanted to do. Oh, he... Whoa, I didn't realize he was full on resistance to that. I'm simply faster. You're terrified. If I am terrified, why are you being so mean to me? You're an embarrassment. I don't see that might be the best ability. I will tear you asunder. That's in the best use of my uh, force power, I should say. I did what the order was too weak to do, and for that she betrayed me. Get him, get him. Don't get him again, though. <laughs> hot. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. This Rex is, is defense, it really does. Your demise is inevitable. Okay, much, much better. Not, I'm still not going to say great, but much, much better. And that was totally worth it, the amount of damage I got just then. Absolutely worth it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I can't fucking move, man. Yeah, okay, right, I get it, I get it. Die. I might do it in a minute. What? You can't do it again! <laughs> Try again. Now. I need to perish. Try get my health if I can. I go. Your demise is inevitable. What the hell is this? Give 
It just, it feels like so many of his abilities kind of like lock me in, you know? Is that it? You're just reward. I could annihilate you and the galaxy would never notice. It's so rude. I got the Get slapped on. Face me. I want to. <laughs> drop you kick. Know nothing of the oh. Force. <laughs> Not the time to drop kick. <laughs> oh my god. Throw it. That cannot save you. Try to escape. Fight me. Why does that only sometimes do something like that? <sighs> Man, he's so close and I'm gonna... Just one final act. Then please. No, messed up. How does it feel to know that you're about to die? That your life meant nothing? Don't resist. You can't hide from me. Ah, yes. I feel it. Loss, suffering, shame, anger. There's immense power in such emotions, but you were too weak. And now it's too late. Shuttles are leaving. I will not return. You're lost. You've strayed from the path. And you are no Jedi. You! Kind of force hallucination, fueled by fear. I use his against him. Not so scary now. Still in one piece. BD? Give me some good news. Maybe Dagon was right. <laughs> you sure you're not still, uh, you know? <clears throat> Think about it. Tantalor's a fortress. We should use it for the hidden path. Gather allies, train. They'd never see us coming. I don't know, that seems risky. Everything is at risk, so long as the Empire is around. Besides, you don't want Kata spending her whole life in hiding, do you? If she's safe, Cal? 
Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I understand that. But someday, someone's gonna have to face the Empire. Why not us? I bet Cordova can fix this up. Let's head back to Jeddah. Sure. I'm gonna take a look around first, see if I can find a manual for that thing or something. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Hey, buddy. You saved my neck. Again. Thanks. Did it, gang? That was a that was a hard old fight right there. It really was. I mean, I did it on my second try. But, but I have lots of health. <laughs> so, oh, see you later. You know, if I didn't have, I mean, I burned through ten of my eleven stims. So. You perk perplexity. <clears throat> Sweet. It was a it was a hard fight. It was a hard fight. He's dead, the big old dingus. I'm curious about what is gonna be the focus of the game now then. If we're not at the end, if there's more to come, what is to come? Because well, he's dead, and he was the antagonist. Like, the two main antagonists that have been built up through the game are now both dead, you know? So... You know, go off the edge, do you? Yeah. Run out of block power. That's a drop kick. The only other solution. If you can't block, you must drop kick. Them's the rules. I'm wondering if we can now get that chest that was bothering me earlier. Nope, we're going way past it. Okay, cool. Am I heading? Can I not? Oh, wait. oh, that's a new area, I think. Hmm. I mean, I'm pretty sure I could have just fast travel back here, but whatever. <clears throat> Hand up. You'll pay for that. Nice of to be hanging around. I'm, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Jedi steward. This is fun. <laughs> All right. Okay. I didn't heal, man. <laughs> See, it's little things like that that annoy me sometimes. It just feels like combat can be very weighted towards the enemies in a way. Like, that happens and then I get hit instantly, you know? Or like, we both go for the hit, but I'm not the one who's going to make it. And I'm a freaking Jedi. Um, I have no healing. I need to be much more careful than this. Uh, what What is my goal here? I mean, I know I'm trying to get back down there, but should I not just, just find a nice... Nice heal point somewhere and go there instead. I don't really know. Let's go down. No. No. Okay. Is this what I'm meant to do? It doesn't feel great. <laughs> it feels even worse now. <laughs> um... What's my plan here? I need to go left up there, I think, to get down. I'll find a way down. 
can't really fall anymore though. I haven't oh I just died. But other than that fight, I haven't died in a while. Um So there's, there's a rest point in there. I need to nip into there if I can. Oh god damn it. Nope. Oh, oh, oh game, that was very nice of you, thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Whee! That's what we needed. Let's stop for a moment. Alright, let's take a look at this perk as well. Perplexity. Increases damage dealt by characters. Okay, that sounds rubbish. Alright, I want to go back to the ship. It's a weird game. Like, why would I not just go back to the madness? Oh, wrong button. Why would I not just teleport back to the madness, you know? Seems like an obvious thing to do. Maybe I'm meant to. Maybe I'm not. The world is your oyster. Or not. Who knows? Depends how you feel about oysters, I suppose. Let me know in the comments how do you feel about oysters. I'm a fan. Yeah. When we were fighting Dagon, those hallucinations. What were they for you? Our friends suffering because they followed me. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. I saw Kata in her room, stormtroopers coming for her, breaking down the door. But you know what? That's not gonna happen. Yeah. Thanks for being there and having my back. No. Thank you, brother. We're closer than ever to giving the people we love real safety. Okay. Good chat, but we're going back to Pyloon Saloon. Because apparently there are new conversations, which means we may get access to the final uh, thingamajiggy. <laughs> we were trying to get in the door, and we couldn't get in the door, but I want to go in the door. So we're going to try to get in the door. We need to talk to um, the prospector lass. Hopefully, she's going to tell us about a mystical, magical place we can go. Full of mystical, magical things. They really need to fix the FPS in this game. It is getting ridiculous. Actually, no. We're, we're way past ridiculous at this point in time. Like, I figured it was the kind of thing that would get fixed within a few weeks of patching and stuff like that. It just hasn't. It just hasn't at all. Take time. I practically live here. Let me in. <laughs> right, let's have a chitty chat. So you got the compass, yeah? Well, I guess that's it. Next stop, Jetta, and then, you know, <laughs> the rhymes with Manowar. You sure you're ready to leave Pylons behind? Well, I gotta admit, it's in good hands. And this ain't a one-way trip. We can still visit, right? Just have to be careful. Sure, sure. I was more of a risk taker when I was younger. These days, I just want a place to call home. We really took the fight to those raiders. How are you feeling? Excited. Excited? I didn't know you all were allowed to enjoy that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited too. I can nearly taste the free air of Tenelor. Almost there. Stay focused and we'll finally be able to build something for ourselves. Something to last. Oh, this means we are actually going to go to Tenelor, you know? I'd be a bit disappointed if we don't get to hang out there after all this. I know we have been, but only in a force vision kind of thing. Biomars like that one you took out are trouble. They'll turn a room into a patio if you're not careful. I believe it. Reminds me of a pest I tangled a few years back. Nothing could get through its skin, neither. Here's the kicker, though. This creature had tentacles, too. Whew, don't remember the name of it, but it was mean. I wasn't having all kinds of trouble until I remembered something my mama used to say. If your weapon can't fell a beast, make the beast your weapon. So, I drop my spear, grab one of the beast's tentacles, and coil it around his throat until it was over. Smart. That's what your enemies do, ain't it? Turn your strengths into liabilities. Be seeing you. Why does my mum never see, <laughs> say things like that to me? She never teaches me how to kill tentacled monsters. <laughs> There's the bonehead I know. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, hey. Oh, you're... Oh, that's the bar. 
These are all new people. This place is kicking off a little bit, hey, Turgle. Seems like you and Doma have some history. That's right. She took me in, showed me around, hid me, because I was on the run, Cal. On the run, huh? What'd you do? The heist of the century. Every bounty hunter in the galaxy was after me. You pulled off a heist? Is that so hard to believe? Well, <laughs> yeah. And that's how I pulled it off. No one thinks much of me around here, so they never see me coming. I love you, Turgle. Deeply, deeply love you. A gang, are we all living? Living large? Kestis putting the kibosh on the Raiders? Look at you! I doubt they're gone. Just a little bruised. Still, I'm impressed. Without Alita, they're gonna lose a lot of oomph. Yeah? There's an open spot at the top of the Raider ladder. You interested? No thanks. Too much heat. But you're right. If I had to guess, something big and mean is gonna swallow up those Raiders. Don't like the sound of that. I didn't think you would. Hmm. Hey, too locked. You seem in a good mood. I was thinking how this cantina reminds me of a celebratory dance on my home planet. The cantina reminds you of people dancing? My people don't dance. The dance is my people. All together. Without everyone's essence, there is nothing. <laughs> Like this cantina, someone ordering a drink from Monk, a joke from Gulu, a hunting tale from Mossy. All these acts combine into something greater than the performers themselves. Is she a lovely lass? So you ended up on Kuat. Shipyards must have some interesting sounds. Oh yeah, absolutely filthy soundscape. Real solid samples. Things got really going when I met Didi, though. You found him in the shipyards? That's right. I used to hang out at this monitoring station just listening to the yards. I caught Didi here jamming on some recordings. <laughs> Didi was already making music when he met? Hell yeah. This little droid's got this natural gift. No other way to put it. He just needed the right opportunity. <laughs> Clearly does. Why'd you choose to study the High Republic? You know, I think it is the same reason that people are flocking to Pailun's saloon. Everyone is excited about the possibility of what Kobo could become. I believe that is the kind of optimism that defined the High Republic. Maybe you're right about that. Are those ears on the side of your head? We'll talk soon. Ah, oh, she doesn't have one for me. So what happened to your smuggling operation? The Galactic Empire. Not long after the end of the Clone Wars, the Empire cracked down on my shipping operation. It ruined everything. Many of my associates saw the relative safety of the huts, good riddance. Most of them were snakes, anyway. But some of them... I lost people I didn't expect to lose. Hmm. I'm sorry, Moran. That's rough. No, I'm sorry. I seem to have forgotten asking for your pity. All right, then. You'll come around one day. Nobody asks for pity, Moran. Hi, Cal. <laughs> Hi, Turkle. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, no, we should go talk to, to Z. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. It's, 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 hmm. I was going to say something about a pub. Cal, you missed a right squall around here. Where have you been? Here and there. Well, you're here now. Did you hear about Turgle's shell? Can't say I did. You've got to check it out. Said he found it in the wash. To think. You two have too much time on your hands. Hey, buddy. Uh, I do have a couple more data discs, I think. I do. Let's get some colors, I guess. Can't go wrong with this. Certainly, Cal. You asked how life was different in my day. For one, I believe we were more charitable to one another. Yeah, the Empire has everyone so afraid they just look out for themselves. What was it like back then? Ah, uh, once I was running an errand for Master Cree, very time-sensitive business. I moved with such haste, I blew out my motivator. Oh. I was perfectly aware and completely immobile. Most embarrassing. How'd you get moving again? By chance, a 
friendly bystander diagnosed my predicament and graciously installed a replacement. That's generous. Out here, they'd probably scrap you for parts. How'd you repay them? I didn't. I never saw him again, but weeks later, I was able to help someone else. A chain of kindness kept the Republic going for a while. I know that look. What well, look? I don't have a look. Dagon. His army. Those were long odds. Even for you. I didn't let my past control me. Dagon's overwhelmed him. To be honest, I had no idea if I could. But I had to believe. Well, I knew you would come back. Of course. You're not getting rid of me that easily. <laughs> BD, please. Trying to get my game on. Ah, Gal. We were just discussing what we should renovate next. Just lots else to fix around here. Thanks to the raiders, you know. Yes, of course. But surely we can find something a bit more inspiring for our next project than a water pump. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Ah, <sighs> right. Done deal. Let's head away. Not home, really. Yeah, was, she, she, the way she was talking about her species, her, her people, and how it's all this dance, and how everyone, all the people in the pub have like a different role and stuff like that. It made me a little sad. I don't have a regular pub, right? Because I move around all the time, constantly. <laughs> I, just, I never stay in one place very long. I don't really know why, it's just who I am, and it kind of stops me making connections nowadays. But back at university, I'll say I had a, a very tiny group of friends, and we had a regular pub. We had a pub called the Unicorn. Um, one of my mates, actually one of my roommates, lived, lived? <laughs> he didn't live at the Unicorn, that'd be weird. He worked at the Unicorn. Oh, we can finally do these. Oh, interesting. It's still not everything, though, because I can't do the, um, the red doors. Uh, one of my mates worked at the Unicorn, so obviously he was behind the bar, so obviously that meant we got drinks, basically. So we used to go to the Unicorn all the time. And it was a dirty, grotty, horrible little pub. And I miss it deeply. <laughs> We should go back to Jeddah soon. Sierra and Cordova are waiting. Okay. You know... Let's take a look at... God, they really need to fix this. <laughs> um, it's something about those cheap, horrible little pubs that are just... You think Cordova can easy to Jeddah find place? home, I guess. Oh, I bet credits he can. You have credits to bet? What's that supposed to mean? Tantalor. We're so close now. <sighs> I'm excited to see Tanalar. Oh, me too. But just don't go starting a witch school or something. And definitely don't invite those creepy sisters of yours. But they're here now, Grease. All around you. I just sensed something, Grease. Did you feel that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's... Look, I'm not the kind of, like, I don't drink very all often right, at all. Get up here. I drink, like, once every three months on average, if not less, probably, if I'm totally honest these days. So having a regular pub doesn't make too much sense for me. And we kind of have a regular here in Warrington. You know, we do the pub quiz on Tuesday sometimes. But it's not quite the same. It's nice to have a regular, you go in, they know what drink you want, you know a few of the regular punters, you know, you know a couple of people behind the bar. That's a nice thing to have. It's very British, but it's a nice thing to have. One day, I'll get that again. Jump. What if we'll get a threequel? What if we'll get a third game in the series? There are some exciting Star Wars games coming out. There's a um, Ubisoft are making a open world Star Wars game. You know, Assassin's Creed style thing, probably. <laughs> hey, Grace. You coming? I'll be in later. I just gotta run another diagnostic on the Manus. Okay, buddy. It'd be a shame if we blow another gyro and get stuck in the abyss. Well, come on, why'd you have to say that? You jinxed us. Oh, this is just great. You think Mara's got any magic tricks that'll ward off bad luck? He started dyeing his hair. I swear it was greyer when we first started this. Uh, right, where are we going? We are going in the other direction. There is, however, a chest. Two chests in here. There's one up there. I'm not sure how I would get that. There's one here. Somehow. Queer. Queer. Okay. 
Okay. I think it's underneath me. There, there must be a way to get below. Or... Or above me? It could be up there. Can we see a way up there? It's probably up there. Um, I can climb onto the mantis. Can we climb onto the mantis? Actually, that's step one. Can we climb onto the mantis? Step one. I'm not sure we can climb onto the mantis. I really like mantids. Not my favorite insects. I think I do have to get up there, which means I probably have to get up to... I probably do have to get onto the mantis. Let me... Let, let's just have... I think if I get onto there... I'm sure I've climbed on the mantis before in here, right? I think. The game actually limits you quite a lot on what you can jump on. Um, bear with me. I just want to give this a go. God's sake. <laughs> the game is weirdly limiting sometimes. Very pretty, though. <laughs> Very pretty. Uh, I think if I go over here... No, I don't. I, I, you know what? I don't have a goddamn clue. Let's move on with our lives. We'll figure it out at some point. Well, we won't. As is life. As above, so below. Da, 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 da. Stupid door. I know, I know, I know. It's a forced door. I, I get it. I, I do, but it's still silly. What if Grease needs to hop in and chat to someone? You know, what if he's lonely? You're going to keep him locked out? That's very rude. <laughs> I, don't, I don't abide by this behavior whatsoever. Master Cordova. Dagangera had the last compass, but it's... Damaged. He didn't exactly hand it over. This... can be repaired. <laughs> I'll begin at once. BD. Let's give Master Cordova some time to concentrate. I know a place with a view. Good. Boat has huge shoulders. This is a boy who lifts right here. Hey! I have more tea! <laughs> but you know, it's kind of heavy if anybody wanted to give me a hand. Of course, Green. Nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, ha ha, very funny. Uh, okay, here you go. Round two. What do you think? It's strong. It's very sweet. You'll get used to it. <clears throat> you see her. Why don't you join us on Tantalor? There's no better home for the Archive or the Hidden Path. Look, whatever the future holds, we can face it together. Yes. It's a new path for all of us. Cal, Master DePaul would be proud of the Jedi you've become. I had a good teacher. Everyone, the hidden path has found a new home to Tantalor. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Seer, does that mean you're coming? Yes, Grease. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to go and prepare the archive for relocation. Well, it's getting late. I'll go with you. Say, where is the Manus in there? This place is terrifying at night. I will escort you. Oh, great. But, hey, none of that creepy stuff, okay? <laughs> Seer, are the Anchorage really coming with us? Of course, yes. Wow, our family's growing with a boatload of creepy aunts and uncles. We did it, Boat. Yeah. Compass is gonna be good as new. Something that's bothering you. Ah, oh, you know me too well, Scrapper. Just thinking about Kata. People looking after her, but it's always a bit tough when I come back. When she sees what you've done for her, 
She'll understand. I hope so. I was thinking maybe we should go to Ten More first. Just make sure it's safe before the others join. Mm, the sooner we get the hidden path set up there, the better. Gotta stay one step ahead of the Empire, right? Yeah. Hey. Tomorrow we're gonna have a new home. Couldn't have done that without you, Boat. Thank you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, <clears throat> gonna go record a bedtime story for Kata. You have a good night. You've earned it. What a view, huh? Desert at night seems to stretch on forever. Hmm. And there is beauty and emptiness. Now you sound like a Jedi. Think of a few things, right? Not everything. Look, uh, the order's gone. It's time to leave it behind. And. I know what I want now. Took you long enough. Aww. That's a well animated little kiss, Saracen. I love those two crazy kids. Merrin hasn't been in the game as much as I would like. I think this would all be hitting a little harder if she'd been a bigger part of this game, but obviously she's a big part of the first game, so that rings it a little harder, I guess. I don't know. It's always funny with open world games because I spend so long... <gasps> I spend so long not doing the main quest, you know what I mean? I spend so long doing other things that the main quest naturally loses a little bit of impetus, a little bit of momentum. I talk about this all the time, because most of the games I play seem to be open-world ones. But, um... Still, I love Marin, so I'm happy to see, I'm happy to see those two crazy kids get together. I don't trust Bode. I don't know if I've got a good reason not to do so, but I've said it for the entire game. And I think the game is now starting to hint at it just a little bit. That little conversation we just had. Bode opened his eyes. It's, it's, it's a classic thing when someone's hiding something they really don't want you to know about. You know, they hug and then they open their eyes, you know, prematurely. And it's just a little sus. It's a little sus. He seems like a really, he seems like a stand-up guy. So I'm not down him too much, but it's just niggling at the back of my neck, you know. Yeah. That's interesting. Did I ever come up here? I guess not. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Boop, boop. No, I forgot about that noise. I was like, oh no, I guess my headset needs charging. <laughs> well, that's interesting. It just says skill point rather than giving me a level. Huh. Hmm. Ooh. Not a bad find. Anything else in here? There's a chest. Oh, it's in the next room, though. No, it's in this room. Well, no, this is not the manus room. There's a chest in here. Um. Oh, oh it's right. Yeah, there's a there's a zoopy zoopy thing over here. That's the official name. I won't hear suggestions otherwise. Okay. Zoopy zoopy thing. Where is the zoopy zoopy? It's above me. It's in... That's to the left. I need to go up somehow. 
Hmm. I can see it. I can see how zoopy it is over there. I don't quite know how to access it right now. But oh man, when I do, there's going to be some zooping going on. I think we have to see it, but I don't see it anywhere. Is it behind this on the upper level? I think probably. Yeah, we'll figure it out some more time. Let's rest up and we'll end it there. So thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to try to um, not hammer Star Wars, but I'm going to try to not neglect it for quite as long as I have been doing lately. I've just been I've been playing so much Tears of the Kingdom. I'm, I'm deeply in love with Tears of the Kingdom. But this is still a great game. Definitely curious to where the story's going. Definitely still want to... Not going to collect everything. We're not going to obsessively explore because it's not the kind of exploration I like. Elden Ring, we took ages, right? Because... There's nothing on the map. <laughs> Tears of the Kingdom. We're going to take ages. Because lots of things aren't on the map. You just kind of point yourself in the direction and you find new things. This isn't super that sort of game. You know, there's lots of map markers and stuff like that. Which is great for most people. It's not really my thing. When it comes to the exploration aspects, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to pick things up as we go. Because it's super exciting finding every cosmetic that we find. I'm still addicted to that. Hopelessly addicted to that. Oh, that's late. Nope. Anyways, uh, but yeah, I might be. I, we might do a little bit more main story focus as well because I'm kind of into the story and I kind of want to see where it goes and what's going to happen. I don't want to to sap the momentum from the story much more than I have been doing already. So maybe we're not done with the exploration, but I'd say done with most of it. And now it's time to to bring it home, as it were, which I think tends to be how I run with open world games in general. I think it's a logical way to do it. Anywho. That's for the future. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you lovely folks very soon. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.